What's up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new episode of One Deck One Month. We are finally back after a long, long wait. It's been about maybe like six weeks or so since we wrapped up the Earth Machine series. But as I said in the end of that last episode for Earth Machine, that we'd be starting this next series with Photon Galaxy. And uh, I did a week zero uh, many, many weeks ago. Um, so I've admittedly become a little out of practice with the deck and uh, a little rusty. I haven't played the deck in several weeks. Um, I was supposed to test with some friends a couple days ago, but those plans fell through. So we're going in today just very rusty, very unpracticed. So it's probably going to be a very, very rough day, but I'll catch you guys up to speed on where our deck list is at very, very soon. But I did build something pretty cool, and that is this bad boy right here entirely constructed of PVC piping so if you ever want to film your own live duels and uh, buying a fancy tripod like the ones that I have is like too expensive just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and just do what I did and build something like this out of PVC pipe this up here is where the uh, ball head of the tripod attaches to and then it gets a nice top-down shot I made some improvements though down here because the table we were filming on wasn't super level so I had to add like some feet to the bottom to raise it a bit higher up off the ground and put some rubber padding on the bottom as well so hopefully this performs really really well today because I'm gonna need it to perform well because the plan is I get to take this there this one time and then I leave it there um, so I don't have to constantly bring it back every week that way I'm not having to carry a ton of gear to locals because that was a, becoming a big issue is having to carry tripods counterweights uh, extension cables all this kind of stuff so having this rig uh, and being able to leave it there uh, will make it so I don't have to bring a bunch of stuff every week to locals but speaking of stuff we got this brand new Imperium backpack that we're gonna be testing out for the first time today at locals uh, so we're gonna be filling that up very very soon and yesterday I put out what I think has to be the best video I've ever made I don't know maybe this video will top it but I highly doubt it surrounding uh, some graded cards. So let's cut to the footage I filmed yesterday. Right now is live premiering a little mini documentary I've been working on the past couple weeks. And uh, last time I tried to vlog that pack opening video back in October, I lost the footage and I'm not gonna lose it this time. So I can't wait for this. I've worked so hard on this. I hope you all like it. I'm out gotten on the topic of Yu-Gi-Oh. And as we're talking about this, my dad suddenly remembers Gem Mints. And again, we... And there it is, the big reveal, baby. 9.5 Gem Mints. So close to that perfect, pristine 10, man. My favorite part of the video right here. Easily favorite part of the video. It's so good, man. It's so good. I'm so hyped for this video. Thank you to everybody that showed up and checked out the video. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I mean, just look how gorgeous these cards are, man. Like, I don't get to flex a lot of cards, man, but this right here, this is my biggest flex if I had to say so. I'm so happy these cards are back. If you guys haven't watched that video, Please, please go watch it. I don't think the algorithm was too kind to the video, which really, really sucks, you know, knowing that I spent several weeks not only like editing and filming the video, but planning it to make it as good as it was. So if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, give it a full watch. It's a fantastic video. I, like I said, I think it's my best work ever and I definitely think you'll enjoy it. And if you do, share it with a friend. And with all of that out of the way, there's only one question left to answer, and that is, what does my deck list for Photon Galaxy look like for today's local? So we'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, so here is just a quick once over of the main deck. Uh, nothing's really changed too much since the deck profile I uploaded, so uh, pretty standard list for now, nothing too spicy, you know, we're rocking the, uh, the prosperities in there because I still think they're very, very good, but let's take a quick look at the extra deck. Uh, should be pretty standard, I think the only change was that I cut the Omega for the Else, I believe, um, because if I was going to keep one Synchro in to sort of have synergy with the Gamma Engine, it was definitely going to be Chaos Ruler because that card can generate crazy advantage for us. The new ban list that came out recently is going to help us out a lot just by making 
uh, the decks we were struggling against a lot weaker. Hopefully we don't have to worry about Zoo Dogmatica anymore and hopefully no Dragon Link because this deck will not have a very fun time against those decks. And luckily our deck did not get indirectly hit in any way, shape, or form. Please bring back Union Carrier. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Now, we're gonna get ready to go to Locals. Oh yeah, and my side deck probably needs quite a bit of tweaking, but I don't know. I might just leave it because I'm a little too lazy, I guess. Oh, I actually almost forgot. The other week, I picked this up, which is a Europrint uh, Ahashima, I believe. I got off my friend Alex, so uh, I actually just remember that I want to put this in the deck for I uh, go. And here, we also have all of the packages for the giveaway winners. I've been meaning to ship these out. Um, I'm sorry it's been taking so long, but I've just been so busy. Um, and I will try to get them out this week. Uh, I actually have to package up one more thing, which is that field center we gave away. Uh, winner announced at the start of the last podcast episode. So, by the way, check out the podcast, please. Oh man, look at that. Congratulations to the winner, man. I'm gonna miss all of these. I only have one left after this. And the last part of the preparation is just getting this thing outside and into the truck. So it's currently uh, 5.04, I'm probably gonna leave in like uh, 20 minutes or so, but I just wanted to come and sit outside since it's actually just a really nice day. I think I'm just gonna storyboard this episode a little bit, which by the way, I've been using a notebook a lot lately to take notes on ideas, thoughts, etc., and keeping track of to-do lists, you know, making sure I get done my, my critical tasks, and it's been really, really helpful in uh, keeping organized. So I'd highly recommend you guys try something like this if you haven't. All right, so we're at Locals, just brought in some gear, had to come back to get this camera. Uh, really excited, we're fully vaccinated, so that's good. Uh, really happy about that, but uh, one thing I'm not so excited about is how well we're gonna do with Photon tonight. It's gonna be very rough. As I said, I'm very unpracticed, very rusty, so today's just gonna be kind of a learning experience, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so it's currently round one, and we were lucky enough to get a buy, which is great. Definitely not complaining about it. So it turns out that my opponent actually showed up in time for us to play out our match. However, the judge decided he would have a game one loss, and he was able to pick who goes first or second in game two. So with him playing Altergeist, of course, he chose to go first. My opening hand was pretty good though. It was Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Wizard, Monster Reborn, Afterglow Dragon, and a copy of Expedition. My opponent leads with a copy of Marionetter to grab a copy of Protocol. From there, he sets four back row and passes to me where I start with Soldier, discarding Galaxy as Afterglow Dragon, which he does negate with the Protocol. I then follow up that by normal summoning the Galaxy Wizard. I activate its effect to increase its level by four, which does resolve. I then activate Expedition to summon a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon directly from the deck. From here, I use Wizard's other effect, tributing itself off as cost, which does resolve, allowing me to search another Afterglow. From there, I summon Afterglow and try to exceed into number 62, which he does have a Solemn Strike for. From there, I decide to follow up with a copy of Monster Reborn, targeting my Soldier Engrave. And on summon, I attempt to use Soldier's effect to search, but he does have an impermanence for that. So I go right into the battle phase, swinging for 2,000 damage and pass it over to my opponent who starts by normal summoning a copy of Silcoitus to bounce back his protocol alongside my Galaxy Soldier, then swings in with Silcoitus and passes it over to me where in my standby phase he activates protocol, chains multi-faker to that to summon out a Meluseek from the deck. Uh, and then at this point, I normal wizard attempt effect to search. He negates with the protocol by sending off Meluseek to search a Conquery. 
And after that, I try to use Galaxy Soldier's effect to search, which does go through, but like I have no good search targets here. It would have been really nice to grab Knight if I hadn't already exhausted my normal summon. So realizing that, I just go ahead and scoop because his advantage was really starting to snowball at this point, and we head on to a game three. So here in game three, I get to go first where I start with a copy of a Cell Light and it luckily does resolve summoning out a copy of Wizard. From there, I use its effect to increase its level by four, allowing me to play an Expedition to go ahead and summon a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from the deck. I then tribute off the Wizard to add an Afterglow. From there, on resolution, he has a Droll, which isn't such a big issue because I've pretty much done all the searching I'm going to need to do at this point. I'm still able to use my Afterglow to summon that to the field, overlay into Felgrand, use Felgrand's effect, attaching Afterglow to summon out another Galaxy Eyes from the deck. I then activate Galaxy Zero to bring back my Afterglow. Then I use those two to overlay into a copy of number 90. I then set one card, which ends up being a Solemn Judgment, and I pass my turn from there. My opponent starts by normal summoning Malusik, which is, you know, a kind of annoying card to deal with. He attempts to enter the battle phase, and when he enters the battle phase, I go ahead and use Felgrand to target Meloseek to negate its effects. He then links it off into Link Karibo and tries to use Seek's effect to search, which I do negate with number 90, making sure I do detach the Afterglow to summon out another Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from my deck. He then sets three and goes to the end phase where I try to use the other effect of 90 to search, which does resolve, and I grab a copy of Galaxy Knight here for a really strong follow-up. Now, during my standby phase, he activates Spoofing, shuffles a card back in for cost, and I do negate it with the Solemn Judgment that I had. From there, I normal summon Galaxy Knight. He negates that with a strike, so I put everything into attack. Trigger the Link Karibo with number 90, and then swing in with 3k and 28 for my other two monsters. Main phase 2, I summon a Zeus over top my number 90. And at this point, he's top decking, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, he sets one and passes it back to me, where I put Zeus into attack. Go into the battle phase, use the battle and banish effect of my Galaxy Eyes. Uh, which is set monster was just an ash and i swing in for game and we take it there and with it the match after we finished up our match my opponent offered me the opportunity to play a hypothetical game three to see who would have technically won the match had he not gotten a game loss and we actually did take game three as well thanks to a very clutch card okay so update we actually did have a round one opponent somebody showed up late so they got a game one loss so um we had a little bit of an advantage um so we just played out games two and three, uh, lost pretty hard game two, and then game three, I drew red reboot uh, to his Imperial Order, so um, definitely got a little lucky. Can't say that I didn't, so we're heading into round two with one win, um, and it feels better to have an actual win than a bye, so we'll take it, and I'll update you guys after round two or three. So round two rolls around and our opponent is on Tri-Brigade Zoo. He starts by normal summoning Kit and links into Al Mirage. From there he uses Kit's graveyard effect to send Nerval to the grave in order to add a copy of Karas. He then pitches another Nerval to summon a Karas from the hand, then uses Karas's on field effect to banish two to summon the Baron Blossom. He then uses its on field effect to bring out a Zodiac Ram Ram. He then links off Farragut and Karas to go into the new Tri Brigade link, the uh, Bear Brum. Uh, and then he uses Baron Blossom's effect and Grave to draw one and put one back. And then he proceeds to link into Rugal to trigger Bear Brum's effect to search that revolt. And that pretty much does it for his turn. On my turn, I lead with a copy of a Cell Light, which is hit with a Nash. So we are already in a kind of a worst case scenario situation, which sucks, but luckily. I have a Rota to follow up, which grabs me a copy of Thrasher. I then play Pot of Extravagance by banishing three to reveal Wizard Expedition and a copy of Sanctuary. All really fantastic cards here. So I decide to take the Expedition. I then special out the Thrasher and attempt to equip it with Orbital and use Orbital's effect to search, which does resolve, allowing me to grab a copy of Vanisher. I summon Vanisher and attempt its effect to search, but it is negated with an impermanence. From there, I overlay into Blast 
Dragon, activate its effect to bring out Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from the hand, which gives me the opportunity to activate the expedition I had to summon an Afterglow Dragon from the deck, and from here I equip Orbital to my Blast Dragon, a second copy that I had, uh, in order to make it unable to be destroyed by card effects or be targeted by card effects alongside everything else. And then I overlay into number 62 to go for the OTK because uh, luckily for me, my opponent actually messed up the way his link arrows were set up. So he wasn't going to be able to successfully resolve a revolt, or at least he told me. Uh, so we were basically just able to go in for the OTK uh, with number 62 and the help of Afterglow for pretty much free. So we take game one, let's head into game two. Here in game two, my opponent starts with a copy of Fire Formation Tanky. In order to search a copy of Fractal, he then discards the Fractal to send Kit, which sends Nerval, which ultimately adds a Karas to his hand. From there, he summons out the Karas and attempts to use its effect by banishing two, and I hit it with a Gamma. Now, looking back, this didn't seem like the best idea since he hadn't used his normal summon yet. Although I'm still pretty unfamiliar with the Tri Brigade deck as a whole, and I don't know what the linchpin of the strategy is. Um, regardless, he follows up my Gamma by normal summoning Kit to banish a few more to summon out a Baron Blossom. He then links Blossom and Kit into Rugal and activates Blossom effect to draw one and put one back. And then he has another copy of Desires here to pick up two new cards. After that, he sets three and passes it over to me where I start by special summoning out that loyal copy of Photon Thrasher. Then follow that with Advancer and attempt to use his effect where he has another Impermanence. I then overlay into Starly's or Galaxian, and on summon, he uses his Revolt. He links into the Ominous Omen, triggers his graveyard effects, and then banishes my Galaxian before I'm able to even use its effect. I follow that up by activating a copy of Sanctuary, link into Soul Flare. I attempt to add back, but he has another Impermanence, so from there, I'm pretty much just forced to pass my turn. He leads with a copy of Karas and activates effect by banishing two to summon double dragon lords, which triggers his ominous omen, allowing him to banish my soul flare, but I scoop right then and there because at this point I've seen enough. So this brings us to an all-important Game 3 situation where I opt to go first and I start with a copy of Prosperity to banish three, revealing Wizard, Vanisher, and Orbital, where I decide to take the Wizard, and then Normal Summon Wizard and activate its effect to Search, which my opponent tries to Impermanence, but I inform him that the card sends itself off as cost, so it is not on the field uh, to be targeted by Impermanence. Um, so our Wizard does go through here. Um, and I go ahead and add a copy of Galaxy Soldier. I then summon said Soldier by discarding a copy of Galaxy Eye's Photon Dragon. And on summon, when I attempt to use its effect, he does have the impermanence there. Uh, from that point, I'm pretty much just forced to set two and pass it over to my opponent because I didn't really open that well. He starts with a copy of Tanky to add Fractal. He then discards Fractal to send Kit. Kit sends Nerval in order to add a Karas. He then pitches another kit to summon Karas on summon. I activate Artifact Lancia. He then normal summons a kit and links kit and Karas into the Farragut. And I hit that with a Judgment on summon. He then sets a card and passes it over to me. Now, I don't really have much of a play. Uh, so I just turn my soldier into attack and swing in for 2,000 damage. After that, I go ahead and pass it to my opponent where he starts with Desires to pick up two new cards. He then normal summons Nerval. And here I made a bit of a risky play uh, because I let him banish for cost, hoping he wouldn't banish his other Nerval in the grave so I could hit it with a called by. And luckily for me, he didn't do that. So called by is able to negate the Nerval. And there he sets a card and passes it back to me where I believe I draw another judgment for turn. It's not the best card, but I'll definitely take it at this point. Uh, so I just go right into the battle phase, run over his monster with a soldier, set a card and pass it back to him. He just draws and passes, and then for my turn, I draw a copy of Galaxy Knight, which at this point feels like a godsend, and then I just normal summon it, attempt effect. Uh, he has a Torrential Tribute, which luckily I have that Clutch Solemn for, so Knight successfully resolves, bringing back Galaxy Eyes, and then overlaying to Felgrant, and on summon, he activates Tri-Brigade Revolt in order to summon back 
four to link for the ominous omen uh he summoned back baroness uh or the baron blossom here which looking back he should not have been able to do because its summon was negated by the judgment so that's something i should have just caught right then and there but i didn't either way uh, he still would have been able to link into the Ominous Omen, I believe, uh, and he uses its effect to, of course, banish uh, one of my monsters, so I chained Felgrand to protect itself from there. I didn't have many other plays to make since Felgrand is at 28 to his monster's 31, uh, so I wish I would have maybe made number 90 instead of Felgrand, but I wanted to be able to protect against Backer, which number 90 can't do. I guess it's just one of those situations where playing it safe ended up being like the wrong call, I guess. Uh, after all this change resolve, I go ahead and activate the last card in my hand, which is a copy of Galaxy Zero in order to revive Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I debated linking into Soul Flare to add back my Galaxy Eyes to have an interruption, um, but I decided against it and just passed my turn. My opponent starts by normal summoning Fractal, activating its effects by banishing three, and I chain Felgrand to negate its effects. From there, he sets three and goes in the battle phase to run over my Felgran with his Ominous Omen and uh, passes turn. Now, I draw Galaxy Expedition for turn, which seems like a really, really strong draw, but not so much when he has three set back row, of course. I activate it, and to my surprise, it does resolve, summoning out an Afterglow, but of course, on summon, he has another copy of Revolt, which ultimately seals the game since he gets two instances of non-targeting banishment. Uh, and yeah, that just wraps everything up, and he takes the game and also the match. Alright, so we just got done with round three. Round two, we took a loss to Tri Brigade Zoo. Um, we went to game three, had a really bad top decking situation, and got really behind, and that cost us the match, probably. Um, and then round three, we just played against Drytron, I played against my friend Adam, and I got absolutely bodied game one and game two. I got killed by a Black Rose, basically. It was basically an FTK. It was a really cool play. Um, haven't seen a Black Rose come out that like that in a long time. So it was a cool play, but it got dropleted and then hit with a Black Rose. So very, very rough uh, game three. And we're going to go to round four. Hopefully we can just break even and go 2-2, two, two, which would be much better than I was expecting. So... So here we are in round four where the pressure is certainly on to see whether or not we can break even with our record. So I start things off by special summoning that loyal copy of Photon Thrasher, which I follow up with a copy of Soldier. And when I try to use the effect, my opponent does have a Valor for it. So I proceed to summon Vanisher, which does go through in order to search a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. After that, I link into Bujinki Ahashima in order to exceed for number 90. After that, I pass my turn to my opponent, who is on Striker, and he leads with a copy of Foolish Burial Goods to dump a copy of Metal Foe's Fusion. From there, he normal summons Ray, enters the battle phase, and attacks into my defense position Soldier. He then tags Ray into Hayate. Hayate can swing in directly for 15 to send multi-roll. From there, he plays a Widow Anchor, targeting my number 90, so at this point, I chain its effect to search before I lose the opportunity. He chooses uses to take control of it only to link it into a Zeke in order to banish my Ahashima and then links that into a Kagari which adds back his multi-roll. After that he shuffles his Metal Foes Fusion back into the deck to draw a card then plays upstart to draw another card and follows that by activating his multi-roll setting one card and links into Shizuku in order to get that end phase search of Shark Cannon where he actually does chain it to banish one of my Photon Dragons in the grave. And after that, he ends his turn there. I kick things off by activating Sanctuary, which allows me to summon Vanisher, which gets negated by an Anchor. But after that, I do normal summon a Knight to bring back my Galaxy Eyes, but to my surprise, he has the Ghost Belt to negate it from there. I link my tokens into Soul Flare to add back Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. And after all that, I proceed into the battle phase and run over the Shizuku, which of course triggers his Ray Engrave. In my end phase, he tags out into another Shizuku to search and gauge. So this is why I definitely should not have attacked. I was a little impatient, but I definitely shouldn't have done it. 
Uh, so he starts his turn by sending a card off for his multi-roll, then slaps down an engage on the table to search a Widow Anchor and gets that sweet plus one draw. After that, he links into Kagare to get back the engage and repeats the process to get a Hercules base this time. Now with my opponent just like that instantly up a bunch of cards, he goes ahead and plays a Widow Anchor to take my Vanisher one more time. He follows that up by normal summoning Effect Valor and then linking all of his monsters into Selene and brings back an Effect Valor with it. Now at this point, I have seen this line used in several other decks to try to OTK, so I know what's coming at this point, and I use my Soul Flare discarding my Galaxy Eyes to pop in Selene to ensure he doesn't get to access code. Uh, after that, he links his Valor into Link Rebo, sets back three off of a multi roll, including Engage, Widow Anchor, and Shark Cannon. I draw for a turn and link both of my monsters into a Soul Flare in order to attempt to get back my Galaxy Knight which he has a call by the grave for. So I proceed into the battle phase. He uses his Link Rebo and I pass. He starts his turn with Engage to grab a Ray. From there, he uses both Widow Anchor and Shark Cannon to take two of my monsters. He then normal summons Ray, which is followed up by Rose, and from there goes in for game. And that brings us to a game two, where I start with Pot of Extravagance, banishing three like always to reveal Galaxy Knight, Wizard, and Photon Orbital. I take the Wizard and normal summon it to use its effect to increase its level by four in order to activate my Expedition, which resolves summoning a copy of Galaxy Eye's Photon Dragon from the deck. And after that, I tribute off my wizard to go ahead and search a copy of Afterglow. I summon that to the board and then overlay into Divine Dragon Knight Felgran. And I use its effect, attaching Afterglow in order to summon another Galaxy Eyes from the deck. From there, I use Brave in hand, revealing another Galaxy Eyes I had to get another level 8 on board. From there, my opponent has a Nobiru, which does hurt quite a bit. And I'm pretty much just forced to pass after that. He starts his turn with a terraforming in order to grab area zero. Following that, he goes into battle phase, attacking my Falgrand. Uh, and I chain to target my token, which looking back, I don't even think I could actually have targeted my token with Falgrand because it doesn't have an effect to negate. But either way, that's neither here nor there. So he goes to attack. And uh, after that, he activates the area zero, sending off his Nibiru to grab a shark cannon. He then activates a copy of Hornet Drones to get into Shizuku, where after that he sets two cards and proceeds to the end phase to get a search of another Shark Cannon, uh, which he chains to banish one of my Galaxy Eyes Engrave. On my turn, I start with a Galaxy Soldier. When it hits the board, it's met with an Imperm, and I swear, I don't know what it was, but I feel like I got hit with more Imperms that night than I've been hit with in the past, like, six months or so. Anyways, I link my Soldier and Nibiru Token into a Soul Flare to attempt to add back a Wizard Engrave, but unfortunately... It is DD Crowed, and at this point, I just go ahead and decide to scoop because his advantage is going to snowball like crazy next turn as soon as he gets access to an engage. And yeah, unfortunately, we finished this first locals with Photon Galaxy 1 and 3. All right, so round four just wrapped up. Played against my friend Dan and got clapped by the Sky Striker deck. Still don't know why they brought engage back, but it is what it is. Uh, Hyper Galaxy, I'm actually just learning, comes out next week, so we might be able to add in a brand new card to the main deck. I haven't tested it at all, so hopefully we can you know, test it and see how it works. Maybe it'll find its way into the main deck. Um, it seems like it could help going second, because the deck right now has a very hard time playing through boards going second. At least that's what I noticed tonight. Um, but the deck definitely needs work. Um, I don't know how much more we can improve on it like where we, until we reach like a certain ceiling because the deck can only be as good as it can be um, with the cards available. So I'm uh, going to get a first place deck profile from my friend Kevin, and then we're going to go home and uh, just kind of do a little bit of a wrap up, and then that's an episode. Couldn't leave locals first without first checking out the case to see what kind of Pokemon cards we can buy. I just want to peep this Umbreon here real quick. What's up? This is the Umbreon here, the Umbreon Prime. Yes, sir. Look at that. Yeah. Umbreon Prime right there. Oh, the nice. We got a few nice Umbreons, man. I was like, I lost that. I was like, <laughs> All right, we're walking out of locals. Uh, it was nice being back. I haven't been back to locals in maybe like 
six months or so. Not six months, six weeks. Yeah, it's not, it hasn't been that long, but it's been long enough. Felt good to be back. Uh, really nice to see everybody again. Got some good pickups. I'm going to go home, get some food as always, and we'll give that little tournament recap and see where we need to take this deck for next week. But yeah, to wrap this video up, overall takeaway is the deck, uh, it needs a little bit of improvement, I feel like, but like, it's hard to know exactly where to go to make those improvements. I think I really only bricked one time tonight overall, so like, I feel like the consistency is not a problem. It's just, again, trying to play through interruptions. It's very, very hard for the deck to do. I really want to try talents uh, in the deck, and I know that sounds counterproductive with prosperity, but talents just might also give that deck the boost it needs. And, you know, it's not always a confliction because talents can rip a card or we can steal a card of theirs, uh, you know, to punish them a little bit, uh, you know, make it easier for us, hopefully, to win that particular game thanks to the help of talents. And of course, if we don't find prosperity, then, right, it just becomes a draw too. To help us play through interruptions so maybe we'll try talents in the main deck maybe we'll try hyper galaxy uh haven't tested it at all hopefully i can get some testing in this week um would really like to do that and yeah if you guys want to watch another one of my videos make sure you click over here right now and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and as always winner kill sent out we'll see you guys in the next one and last but not least a special thanks goes to our divine level channel members here on youtube and they are cadillax 84 and pony stark thank you guys so much for your continued and very generous support of this channel